Hi guys, my name is Lauren and today I will be showing you how to groom a dog at home. Master Clipper very kindly sent me a pair of their Predigree Pro A5 dog clippers with a set of combs. So I'm going to unbox them with you now, show you what comes in the box and how to set your clippers up. Then we'll get into the grooming. The clipper set comes with a 10 blade which is perfect because you need a nice short blade to go underneath the guides. The clipper blade clips on and off just like I did here. It is very secure, which I really like because it ensures that the blade isn't going to fall off whilst you're using the clippers. This set also came with a two year warranty, oil for your clipper blades and four guides. These guides come in different lengths. In this set, I got a three millimeter, a six millimeter, a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter. Today I'll be using the 13 millimeter, but you can use whichever length you've got as it all has the same outcome, just different lengths. To put your guide on you want to hook it over the back of the 10 blade and then push it over the teeth so it locks on. Make sure it is secure otherwise you're going to end up with a very bald dog. Now you're happy with how to set up your clippers, let's get into the grooming. This is Woody and he is very kindly offered to be our model today. Before we clip any dog we like to make sure that the dog is completely clean and bone dry. Any dirt on the dog's coat will blunt your blades and you will just not get a very nice finish. So you make sure that every dog has a nice warm bath and then gets completely dried with the hair dryers. Once your dog is dry, take a metal comb and comb through every part of your dog's body. This is an essential part of the process when using a clipper guide as they will catch on any little knots and this will cause a very uneven cut. Once your dog is completely combed through, the next step is to cut their nails and trim the hair between their pads on their feet. It's completely up to you if you want to follow these steps. If you do feel comfortable enough to cut their nails, just watch closely what I'm doing here. As you can see, these dog's nails are black and it does seem a bit scary to cut black nails, but if you just take the edges off, you should be absolutely fine. To trim the hair on the pads, I use a straight edge pair of scissors and trim all the long hair level with the pads until they look tidy. Another way you can tidy the bottom of your dog's feet, which you might find a slightly easier, is to use your 10 blade on your clippers and hold the dog's foot up and just shave the bottom of the feet. Don't dig in between the pads because you may catch thin pieces of skin that are between the pads, so be really, really careful. Now you can put your chosen guide length on your clippers and start clipping your dog's body. You want to make sure your guides are always flat against the dog's body at all times and always follow the direction of the hair to ensure a nice even clip. You don't want to have a firm grip on the clippers whilst grooming the dog. You want to hold the, the, the clippers kind of like a big pencil, if you will. Um, <laughs> this makes it much easier to follow the contours of the dog's body and give you a nice, smooth clip. Like I said before, you don't want to have a firm grip on the clippers, but you do want to apply medium pressure onto the dog when you're clipping. This ensures that the blades are actually going to be going through the hair and cutting the hair rather than just skimming over the dog. It's always handy to keep a metal comb nearby when you are clipping your dog. I always like to brush through my dog as I'm grooming just to make sure I haven't missed any knots and that all the hair is going in the right direction so I get a nice smooth clip. As a professional dog groomer, I have really enjoyed using these clippers over the last few weeks as my everyday clippers. They are sturdy, they are lightweight and the wire on them is really, really long, which helps when you're trying to get the dog from all angles. I also love the fact that the clipper blades and the guides snap on and you just know that they are very secure and they're not going to come off. You're not going to end up with any bald patches where your guides fell off because that is quite common with the magnetic guides 
Whereas these ones snap on, so they are going to stay on, which I love that. I love that about these guys. When clipping your dog, don't be afraid to move the dog around, move the tail out the way or lift the legs in the air. As long as you're not putting the dog in an awkward position or hurting the dog, it really does help for you to be able to see the dog from all angles and to not miss any long hairs. You want to make sure you are oiling your blades regularly with the oil provided in your kit. You just want to take your blades off the clippers and oil where I'm showing you here. Oiling your blades regularly is really important to make them last longer and to work better. If you don't oil your blades, they will just stop working because the blade won't be able to move. Once you're finished oiling, put your blades back on and make sure your guides are securely in place. The last thing you want is your guide to fall off and you to cut a big ball patch in your dog. Now you have finished clipping your dog's body and legs, we'll move on to the neck, head and face. Again, don't be afraid to move your dog around so you can see it from all angles so you don't miss any long hairs. Next, we're moving on to the head. I'm sticking with the 13mm guide on Woody's head, but if you did want to go for a little fluffier effect, you can change the guide for a longer guide. It really does just depend on the dog or what sort of clip you're after. Once I've done the top of the dog's head, I'm going to lift the ear up and out of the way just so I can go down the side of the dog's head and blend into the neck. I'm leaving the muzzle for the moment because I'm going to be scissoring that. I'm just using my thinner scissors now to cut out any of the bulky hair that is in front of the dog's eyes so that you can see again because he has got lots of hair that's grown there since his last groom and then I'm going to take my comb and just comb his hair forward a little bit and cut his eyebrows in sort of like a half circle shape to give his face a nice happy expression. Once I've finished trimming around the eyes, I'm going to move the ear out of the way and give him a quick comb. This is where I'm going to be shaping the dog's face. I'm going to be giving him a cute little face today. So I'm just taking my thinning scissors and just cutting away a lot of the bulky hair and making his face look nice and cute. Isn't Woody just the cutest little dog? I mean, look at that little face. I'm just going to take my straight scissors now and I'm going to trim Woody's ears. Woody has got very wonky ears, so I try my best to cut them even when you look at him straight on because one of his ears does stick out a lot more than the other one, so it really does depend on how he's holding his ears on the day. But I always try and get them 
completely even from looking at him straight on. Next I take a comb and I comb out the dog's feet to get all the hairs sticking out and then I just take my straight scissors and tidy up all the long hairs to get a really nice round foot. So now I just go round and do all four of his feet, making them nice and round. And then I use my comb and I just comb through his legs and through his body and just make sure there is no long hairs. And if there are, I just use my straight scissors and I just snip the long hairs nice and even to give a nice finished look to the dog. The last part of my tutorial is the tail. I part the tail from the base to the tip right down the middle just to make sure that it is even on both sides and then I just trim at a nice curved angle to whatever length you desire. And whilst you're around that area, just give any long hairs a brushing out and just trim around their bum just to give them a nice tidy look. And that is how you clip a dog from start to finish using the Predigree Pro A5 clippers. I hope that this video has taught you everything you need to know before you go off and groom your own dog. I'm sure you'll do absolutely fine and your dog's gonna look amazing. And that is all from me and Woody today. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.